The lush New Hampshire landscape is not what they'll encounter in the Middle East, but they're training for some very real scenarios. The New Hampshire Army National Guard's 238th Medevac Company teaming up with its sister detachments from Michigan and Ohio to prepare for a fall deployment. Every state does things a little bit differently based on the resources they have available, and those nuances, if not corrected together as a team, could have catastrophic effects. It is rare for the three states to come together before mobilizing in Texas. The two-week event is vital for the strength of the company. Now we, we all know each other. Uh, we know who the stronger people are, and we know who we have to bring up to get to the level that they need to be at. When soldiers are injured on the ground, a nine-line or medevac request comes in to flight operations. When we get the call, it's somebody's worst day, right? I mean, we're going, they've either got shot, they've got blown up or something, we're going to get them. The HH-60M Blackhawk helicopter is the Army's newest and most advanced. Unlike the aircraft of the past, these can carry six patients on stretchers and are equipped with an integrated oxygen system for onboard care, providing critical life-saving care in the air. The only reason soldiers in the field can be so confident in their mission is that they know that we're well-trained, well-equipped, um, and that we're going to come get them. It's a humbling job these men wouldn't trade for any other assignment. I think we have the most important job uh, in the Army. It's my job to fix, fix whatever's wrong with them and get them to the next level of care so they can come back here and be with their family. In Concord, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.